Okay, welcome to this video. Um, look, what we're going to do is show you how to resize images without losing quality. Now, this relates to website images predominantly. So, if you're trying to reduce file size of images for high quality reproduction, for reprinting or whatever, this is not for you. This is really all about presenting images on the website. Because what we're wanting to do on the website is get our images as uh, efficiently stored as possible. And for most people, the images they're using, particularly if they've taken them directly off their camera, or if you've downloaded them from a stock photo as we have done here, they're going to be high resolution. And a website presentation does not need that. So what we've got here is an image that we've loaded into a program called Irfan View, I-R-F-A-N-V-I-E-W. And uh, we'll just show you here. You see it there. Look, this is a free program. Um, we've been using this for years, and it's indispensable. It, it, it is a very powerful piece of software for not only just resizing, but manipulating images and a whole host of things, which we're not going to go into. We're just going to focus on resizing it. So what we've done is we've loaded the image, opened the image file up, and we can see down the bottom here the size of our image, 1648 by 1165 pixels, which is not that large. Most of your um, photo camera images are going to be 4,500 pixels wide and significantly larger. This file here, for instance, is think about 900k, 781k, we see it here. Okay, so that's still too large for a website. So what we want to do is reduce it without losing quality. Now we can physically reduce it down, and that is quite a practical solution. But sometimes we want to keep the large physical size of the image, but reduce the size of the file. Now, the way we can do that is when you load, download Earth and View, um, there is a plugin called Riot, R I O T. And you'll find that by when you go to File, you'll see this Save for Web. It's a plugin. So that should be installed when you download and install Earth and View. Um, if not, go to the plugins and um, it's in the default plugins there. You'll see it. So what happens is, if I choose to use this, the first thing it's going to ask me is, do I want to resize the physical size? And I'm going to say no. And what you do is you get this pop-up, or an extra window, it's probably more to the point, which shows, and it gives you the option to save the file as a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF. In most instances, JPEG is what you're going to want, and that's what we're going to use here. And beneath that, when you put the JPEG settings, there is this quality slide bar. Now, what it's telling us here is, on the left, we're seeing the initial image of 781K, but it's been optimized down to 58. So that's less than 10%. And you might think, well, you know, are we losing quality? Well, let's just zoom in. Now that's one to one ratio. So that's exactly comparing the original to our reduced size. And you can see there that in this, as in most instances, you're not losing the quality. Now that's at 58%. I can slide that down even further because of this image not using too many colors, and we can get it down to 38K, and we're still not really losing much color. We're starting to get a little bit of pixelation here, and the color distinctions aren't as smooth as over here. So we'll just slide that back up to 50, 55, and, and, and that's pretty good, because we're not after this high quality presentation. Now, Make sure your chroma sampling, the default's high, and that's fine. 
Um, you don't have to worry about any other settings and you just go to save and it'll ask me do I want to replace the original image. My suggestion is no, keep your original images and then you just pick a place to save it. So I am just going to save it here. I'm going to keep that at the original size. I think I said it was 1600. Yes, yeah, 1648. 1600. Now, if I want to resize it, I can just click on this button here and we can set the size we want. So I'll just make that actually 1600. And we'll save it again. At and that's the one we wanted, and we're going to replace that. So that has managed to shrink our image without loss of quality, visual quality, for our website from 781 down to 53k, which is a massive saving. And then we just escape out of that. So look, that's the program. Um, very simple to use. <coughs> There is the ability also, I'll just mention here, for a batch. So you can actually select a whole folder and it'll compress all of the images in that folder. So it'll just ask, do you want to really do this? And it'll remove this, it discard this image and I say yes. And all you do is you can resize if you wish. We'll just ignore that. We'll turn resizing off. So we'll keep all our original images as they were. Um, we can just grab whatever images we wish. And then be sure to specify where you're exporting the results to. Um, by default, it remembers the last output folder you used. And if you're like me, sometimes you forget to change this and you've actually stored your new images in the wrong place. And you just click Start and it'll actually go through and convert the whole group. So very handy if you've got a whole stack of images already on your website and have been place there from a folder, just resize the whole folder and as I said you can also resize them as well. And when you're finished just remove the selected, that's just removing the entries from the job. So that's it. Um, the most powerful or one of the most powerful image editing programs you can use. The other one we use is Faststone and there is a video we have for that as well, showing you how to use that. Works slightly differently. End result is much the same. Um, I swap between the two as to which ones I'm using. Faststone does have a couple of slight advantages when doing batch conversions. It supports folders, subfolders um, and recreates the structure as per the original input, which few doesn't. It can only do one batch at a time and output the results to a single batch. But for most people, this is a, a very brilliant piece of software. Um, the other things you can do are that is one small bug. If you run the batch mode and you exit the program, it thinks it's got a fault. Doesn't affect anything, but it just means you've got to run the program again. Um, as I said, there are other things in here you can do. You can cre create panoramic images. Um, you can edit the quality of the image. Uh, let's just... So you can rotate. You can do one thing which is very powerful is cropping. Now, cropping one would normally just say, well, I just grab my section 
there it is. But you can set custom crop sizes, you can set a create a maximum size, so you can say I want a 3 to 2 ratio, and it will pick the maximum. And just right mouse click to drag this around to where you want it. And then of course you can always still change it as you wish. Um, so yeah, look, very powerful piece of software, well worth downloading, it's free as I said. Get used to it, play with it, and you will find that it's indispensable. So good luck with it, and um, yes, can only encourage more people to use software like this for their websites because a lot of the sites we review and take a look at closely, we're finding they're running very slow compared to what they could simply because they're uploading large images that haven't been optimized. Good luck. Thank you.